All right, Rankin family, welcome back to another beautiful property tour. Today, we have the good fortune of looking at a beautiful Partners in Building custom home right here near Dallas in Heath, Texas. Now, this one is extremely amazing. The one thing you're really gonna notice about this property is the customization. Of course, this is a custom home builder, but this one, we haven't seen something quite as nice as this one. I mean, we've seen very similar, but in my opinion, this is gonna be one of the nicest. Now, I like to bring to you folks the best of the best. So starting from the outside of the home, what we are gonna notice is the natural, beautiful stone that's even going into our one car garage bay straight ahead, as well as your two car garage bay right here to the left. You also are gonna have the painted white brick the one thing that I'm really noticing, especially with these luxury homes, and you can let me know in the comments, is the fact that we're really going away from the siding and having the natural stone as well as the stucco and the painted white brick. And I'd love to hear your thoughts, which one you prefer on that. Now, I love the color palette on here. You have this nice, like I said, uh, the painted brick, but you also have this almost like a light gray, um, really makes the property stand out. I absolutely love that. Going into the covered front porch, you are gonna notice the double wooden doors. Now, we see the combination, either the pivot door or the double front doors. I'd really love to hear your thoughts on that. But, you know, partners in building, they're nothing short of exceptional. And the one thing that a lot of clients that we have the good fortune of working with, they really take their time as far as picking out the customization. That's the benefit of partners in building is you can completely customize it to your particular liking. So what happens is you sit down with the sales rep and then you go ahead and customize it or come up with the game plan for you. Now going into our great room, I absolutely love the oversized fireplace. You have the natural stone that extends. If you notice, it's the same one on the uh, exterior of the property as well. We have it floor to ceiling. You have the beautiful wooden floors that extends. And look at this, even just looking at all the windows for an abundance of natural light, really nothing short of exceptional. So you are gonna have the kitchen, dining room, great room combination that a lot of folks absolutely love. And even if you didn't wanna use the uh, dining room or have the table in the middle, you can exclude that and you just have plenty of space to entertain. Maybe a sitting area, we've seen that before previously. So the possibilities are certainly endless. Now starting in the kitchen, what you are gonna notice is the wooden range hood. You also have the crown molding on top, which is really nice. I love the, the cabinet crowns that you have. You're gonna have the brass fixtures as well as the stack cabinets on top. And look at this. You have two picture windows on the back right here. So that way bringing in more natural light. Now you do have the sink inside of the island. If you wanted to opt to go ahead and remove that and possibly have it inside of the, um, you know, along the wall. So that way you can look in the back or, you know, look on the side of the yard, you can certainly do so. That's the benefit of a custom builder. Now, inside of where the dining table is, if you notice, not only do you have recessed lighting with the tray ceilings, but you do have the exposed wooden beam. Absolutely love that and folks love that. You really can't get enough of that. Now, over here, so extending over here, you have this optional sitting area you can use this as a nice children's retreat, or you can just have it as a formal dining room or, or a formal uh, living room rather. You can utilize it as that. So you can use the great room as a family room and this as your formal room. Really possibilities are endless, but you notice you have your shiplap on the side. You have the beautiful furniture that really brings out the property, really Texas themed, which I love being from Texas, you know, anything Texas. They say it's better, you know, not being biased. <laughs> but even in the kitchen, you do have the double oven with the stainless steel optional cabinetry that extends. And then you can also opt for uh, more uh, cabinetry as well if you wanted to. And then you also do have the quartz countertops. Let me not forget to open up some of the drawer spaces so that way you can see what we're working with. Look, you got a protein bar right here. <laughs> Cabinet space, not bad. So plenty of storage. You don't really have to worry about having to 
purchase additional storage that's the benefit of this one and you know being almost 4,000 square feet you're definitely going to have plenty of space so going right here this is going to be our powder bath you notice you have your tile flooring with a beautiful accent wall that extends from end to end you have this beautiful quartz countertops very rare that we've seen this but really looks nice almost has like a parcelain marble um, uh, finish it that's what it kind of opts for or gives that impression at least now continuing along this is going to be an oversized walk-in pantry look at the storage shelving that you have in here you really don't need to worry about additional storage in here i always love when we go inside of a pantry and you have plenty of room i mean the benefit is i mean even if you don't need that much food maybe it's you know two of you living in here or three it's always better to have more space than not enough, in my opinion, right? So continuing along, this is going to be our full on utility room. So you got your washer and dryer that you can have right here. And then also you have an extension. You can add a, a refrigerator, a secondary refrigerator if you wanted to. I've seen that quite often. You also have the quartz countertops. You have a sink again that extends out here that you can take advantage of. Beautiful backsplash. That continues as well. And really, if you wanted to add a dog wash in here, you can certainly do so. Get that customized. You have tile flooring again. Now, the one thing I love is the fact that we have tall baseboards and that extends from end to end, even going in the hallway, if you notice that. So this is gonna be coming in from that two car garage bay that we had seen right on the left side when you're looking at the property. That's what we're gonna be working with as far as the mud room. And then there's some folks in there, so I'll just go ahead and be courteous of them. But it's a, it is a two-car garage bay, which is a benefit. Also, you if you notice, the wood flooring extends all the way over here as well. So you definitely have uh, plenty of room and really isolation. If you wanted to take advantage of that, you can certainly do so. Now, what we we'll go ahead and do is we'll continue along. Let's take a left. We'll tackle this side and go to the right as well. So before we go ahead and take a look at our ensuite, this is gonna be our full on primary bedroom. So look at that. You have an optional sitting area, a nice king size bed, two nightstands, and look at that, the recessed lighting extends in here. Now, if it's something where, in my opinion, I really love the cathedral-like ceilings inside of a home, especially even inside of a uh, primary, I really just think it gives that pop so if you wanted to opt for that, you can certainly talk about your options, you know, like the vaulted ceilings. And if you haven't seen that, we have plenty of tours that have that option. So you can just kind of browse through and, and let me know what your thoughts are. Now, look at this. This is going to be our full on ensuite. French doors going inside of the primary. Wow. Look at that. Oversized freestanding tub with our brass faucet. Brass shower head, brass wand. Look at that. Got our shower niche, oversized, zero threshold, if you notice. Look at that. Zero threshold that you can take advantage of. You do have your privacy glass over here. You can opt, in my opinion, I think, you know, just the, the sleek picture gla glass would really look nice. Um, just because, you know, it's up there. You don't really have to worry about having that privacy, but, you know, to each his own. But look at this, you got your his and hers sinks, beautiful cabinetry, beautiful mirror frame, and look at our lighting fixtures. Have you ever seen anything? Even look at the chandelier, look at the material that you have. You have like the sprayed material, really unique, very different. And that's what I love about Partners in Building, and I always love getting inside of the Partners in Building brand new tours, or uh, homes rather, because once you go in there, you really can just see the trend. I know they hire the best of the best to stage their properties and they're really forward thinking. That's what you'll really notice if you've seen any other partners in building homes. But look at that. So this is going to be your walk-in closet. So it's not the biggest, but it's okay. This is for showcase purposes only. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Plenty of drawer space in here. Now, I know... <laughs> I know some of my long-term viewers, we love the soft closing drawers. You got to imagine, you know, sometimes they don't put it on the model homes, but it is a feature that you can add to your personal home. So let's not take any points from them. 
So the oversized baseboards continues in here again. Nice plush carpeting as well that you can take advantage of. And this is going to be a storage closet. So if you recall from the exterior of the property, and now you know you had a single car garage bay as well. So that would be in there. Of course, it's locked right now, but that'll be your single car for a total of three car garages. All right. So now this is going to be our guest room. So if you notice, this is what they call the next gen living, right? So folks can go ahead and, you know, guess or anybody, even if you have maybe like an older son or an older daughter that kind of wants to be independent. If you can imagine, they can pull straight in here and then that way they go ahead and go into their room and don't have to bother you or, you know, sometimes they don't want you to bother them, right? <laughs> so that's something to keep in mind, but let me go ahead and do another pan for you. Wow, so that is a queen size bed. That is two nightstands, a dresser. You got a nice chair right there and really does it justice. So this is gonna be our full on bathroom attached to it as well. So you have quartz countertops, white cabinetry. Now you don't have any hardware, so you have that sleek look. You do have the brush nickel uh, towel holder right there, as well as the uh, lighting fixture, which are faucet. And the same thing, brush nickel in here. So if you wanted to opt for possibly the brass or the brush nickel or even the chrome, you can certainly do so. Shower tub combo tile flooring again and a nice size closet nothing huge but really you don't need nothing too massive especially if you're going to use this for maybe a guest room or something of that nature so let me slow down i, I don't like to spin it too much so that way you don't have to worry as much but if you can imagine coming out here on a saturday morning all the families out here you got your bacon eggs sausages cooking and then that way You'll be in peace and tranquility on a Saturday morning. All right, so we'll continue up here. So if you notice, halfway through the stairwell, the wooden floor will uh, stop and then you have your carpet, but you can obviously continue the, uh, the wood flooring if you wanted to. So right here, you're gonna have your nice little common area that you can take advantage of. Not too huge, but not too small at the same time, which I really love. So you can fit a pool table in here. You can fit an L-shaped couch in here or just fit the desk how they have here. And you have plenty of space, two windows. And also not to mention the windows from the great room, the lighting extends in here, which I really love. But let me do a moment of silence for you. I talk too much. <laughs> And really, I did that so I could catch my breath. <laughs> I was out of breath walking up the stairs. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at our next bedroom. This is going to be our third bedroom. So if you notice, you have your LED ceiling fan. And look at the room that you have in here. This is a queen size bed, two nightstands, and a dresser. And the walk room is not compromised whatsoever. So this is a four bedroom, four and a half bath. Um, property so each bedroom will have their own bathroom attached to it you don't really have to worry about like the jack and jill or something of that nature all right quartz countertops again brush nickel um hardware in here tile flooring you have your shower tub combo and if you wanted to opt for just a um, nice walk-in standing shower or standalone shower or something of that nature, you can certainly do so. And that's what I say, I mean, really, you know, the custom builders, if you have the funds, right? I mean, I'm not taking anything away from any commercial builder whatsoever. We've been in some fantastic ones. Only reason I started, you know, kind of stopped showcasing those as much. It just kind of, in my opinion, I could be wrong and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Once you've seen a few of the plans, especially of the commercial builders, not necessarily the custom builders or semi-custom, you kind of seen them all, in my opinion. I mean, you can kind of get a gist of, um, you know, really how they, uh, you know, decorate or not necessarily decorate, but design their homes, right? You can really tell the difference um and some of these custom builders so that's why i like to bring those to you because it doesn't feel like we're walking so i'll be honest with you sometimes i felt like i was i was like I, when we were doing some of the commercial builders you know the mainstream builders which are fantastic 
But when I was walking through, I was like, man, it, this feels so similar to the other one I did. I hope the audience is not getting bored and, you know, just being like, yeah, you've seen one, you've seen them all. So I just try my best to bring you a variety. So that way, when you click on the video, at least you know you'll get something different. But enough of that. This is the fourth and final bedroom that you have. You're going to have a full walk-in closet again. And then, like I mentioned, you do have the bathroom attached to it as well. So this will be a shared bathroom right here. So I know most folks really love the powder bathroom downstairs and the, uh, the half bath upstairs as well, because the reason is you don't really have to worry about folks going into, you know, one of the kids or whoever's utilizing the room. You don't have to worry about them going in their bathroom and just kind of invading their privacy. So if you wanted to go ahead and possibly add another half bath, you can certainly do so. That way you don't have to really worry about that. And then look at that quartz countertop brush nickel again. So very similar in nature. So really your options are if you want the brush nickel, if you want the chrome, the stainless steel, or the brass, there's options that you have. I don't know. I don't think I opened this one, but if I did, sorry about that. But if I didn't, here we go. So yeah, relatively decent, almost 4,000 square feet. So you're really gonna notice that inside of here and just even looking right here over your great room, a lot, a lot of it extended over here to the primary and the, uh, the guest suite downstairs as well. So you have this bridge going across. That's where we walked in from the foyer with the double front doors. And that's kind of what you're working with. So. What I'll do is I'll show you the backyard so that way you can see how we're looking. And then if you wanted to build this on your particular lot, you can certainly do so. If you wanted to build this in a separate community, maybe not um, close to here where the model home is, you can certainly do so. I always say, you know, just find out what the options are, reach out so that way you're in good hands. Okay, so now what I'm noticing already is we don't have the extension, but in my opinion, you, you could easily extend it to the right or you can extend it straight back. That's certainly, and if you're a long-term viewer of the channel, you've seen plenty of partners in building homes and you've seen the extension that you, they have. Uh, really I always mention these are model homes. These are just for showcase purposes only. Sometimes you might even see a model home on the side of the road and you say, Hey, I don't want to be on the side of the road. That's okay. They build on your lot. So they just want to show you their product. Right. But I mean, you do have your built in grill. You have your sink as well. Nice little sitting area. But in my opinion, it would look fantastic. Just being extended a little bit over here. So stay tuned folks. I'm going to show you the study. All right, Ricky family. So this is going to be your study right here. So the one thing I really want you to pay attention to is the high ceilings that continues inside of the study, as well as the beautiful candlelight chandelier, as well as the recessed lighting. Now, like I said, this is a model home. So the built-ins are optional. Of course, it is an upgrade as well as the shiplap, but really just can show you what is possible. A lot of the clients we have the good fortune of working with work from home a lot of times, or they love a in-home office. So they would really love to take advantage of this, but plenty of space. You can fit your nice desk. Even if you didn't have the built ins uh, inside of the home, you can really add in your personal liking. You can add another bookshelf in here for your books or decor, anything of that nature. But really the possibilities are endless. All right, Rankin family, that was the beautiful Partners in Building right here in Heath, Texas. Let me know in the comments what you folks thought about it. Is there anything that you would change? Would you keep it as is? And I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you want more information about this plan or any plan that we showcase, reach out to the information below. We'll get you taken care of. Consider hitting that subscribe button, and I'll see you folks on the next property tour.